the Alpha Canine Group, pioneering new and exciting standards for realistic dog training methods, practical canine behavioural rehabilitation, and professional hands-on handler and trainer education. Alpha Boarding School for Dogs provides a unique canine behavioural rehabilitation service for all dogs, but especially for those with extreme behavioural issues. One of the owners of the first two dogs on this video came to see us at an Alpha Dog Training weekly training session, one winter's evening, desperately seeking help. He told us that his two dogs were fighting and needed to be kept muzzled during the day so they couldn't do damage to each other. They would be left at separate exit points when the owners left for work, but on return, this is what greeted them. The owners had already seen an experienced veterinary behaviourist who had them fill out a detailed behavioural questionnaire about their dog's behaviour. She then tried to train the dogs with food lures, showing how to hold the treat above your eyes so the dogs would look up when commanded to sit. This was futile, however, because as soon as the dogs saw each other through the glass, they immediately ignored the owners and ran over to start fighting again. The owners were never shown how to make the food reward training work. The practice under supervision was aborted, but they were t then told that with more practice it would improve. The behaviourist then suggested to put the bitch on drugs that would calm her behaviour as she was the main aggressor. Within a few days the male dog soon took advantage of this and started to take the upper hand. There are many reasons for this happening. The fighting continued and he was also prescribed the same drugs. From that point on nothing changed and the dogs continued to fight. The owners tried in vain to follow the training advice given to them at the consultation and from a report that contained various fact or help sheets, sent to them about a week later. There were no demonstrations of any effective hands-on obedience or rehabilitation strategies, just a lot of discussion and theories. It was seemingly left up to the drugs to do all the work. By comparison, we applied Alpha's modern and relevant leadership obedience, canine good behaviour shaping and realistic canine behavioural rehabilitation methods and were able to train and rehabilitate these two dogs using hands-on techniques and strategies that really work. The focus is on positive reinforcement and a specific reward process that doesn't require food lures. We also teach the dogs a correction process that pinpoints the exact unacceptable behaviour and then allows us to create a stronger, positive contrast, which promotes consistent and positive behavioural choices. We can usually show owners their dogs making these choices right before their eyes. This is a very different training and rehabilitation process to that used by positive motivation food reward trainers, who insist that telling dogs no and applying physical corrections is unnecessary or harsh. With the canine leadership system, we can demonstrate hands-on and in real time the most exciting and positive turnarounds in extreme canine behaviour. The Alpha Canine Group has spent the last 15 years researching and developing how to apply negative reinforcement to achieve incredible and positive outcomes. Owners who see and experience the results as they occur in relevant and distracting situations never cease to be amazed by the process. As you can see here, 12 months after their training, two happy and tolerant dogs. It takes a lot of effort and understanding, but it can be done. Hi, this is Bronte. We've got Archie down the road. Hang on, Helen. Hang on, go back down again. <laughs> We've got Archie down the road. Um, I've got two leads on her, one for safety. This pre-rehabilitation video footage was provided to us by the owners over in Tasmania, and it shows their dog, a four-year-old Anatolian Shepherd, who is indiscriminately dog aggressive. Since she was about 10 months old, the dog has been impossible to walk without aggressive outbursts towards other dogs and she gets quite worked up even at some distance. You will also see the dog turning back towards the owner when it is in the heat of aggression. This is called redirection and it is a sign of how intense this behaviour is. Some dogs even inadvertently bite their owners during redirection. It is not deliberate but it still hurts. Managing this large dog out in walks, in the owner's words, has been a nightmare and despite seeking the help of a veterinary behaviourist, nothing has changed. Again, this dog was prescribed drugs that were meant to make her safer and more manageable, but they had no effect at all. In the end, the behaviourist told the owners that there was nothing more that could be done for this dog and that they would just have to manage her behaviour as this is as good as it would get. 
Bronte was flown over to us from Tasmania and stayed for the 20-day boarding school course. The results you are seeing now are at about day 13 of that course. In the end, she stayed longer so her handbag could coincide with the owners moving into their new home in Hobart. Here you can see her running free with other dogs, totally relaxed and playful. While staying with us, we trained her around small dogs, large dogs, timid dogs and antisocial dogs. Anything and everything. We always have lots to choose from. Like all the dogs we train and rehabilitate, emphasis was put on the positive reinforcement for her passive and relaxed behaviour. But she was also taught a consistent correction process that made it absolutely clear which responses or reactions to other dogs were unacceptable. The exciting thing about this training process is that good boy or girl becomes the most powerful tool in your behaviour shaping kit and this is so easily demonstrated to owners the moment we take their dogs home again. This is Bronte and that's Sam and Bronte met Sam when she came back from when she came back from uh, boarding school so there's no alpha dog so there's no way she would have um, been able to be this close to Sam without trying to eat him. <laughs> having a play, you having a play. This footage was sent to us by the owners six months after Bronte's return home. Once owners understand how to recognise what we call the canine leadership challenges that occur around the home on a daily basis and then learn how to shape these often pushy and demanding behaviours into manners that really matter, there is a change in the dog's attitude that is tangible and relevant in all common interactions. All these positive results are achievable without the need for food rewards by applying practical and relevant methods that address the often overlooked problems occurring within the owner and dog relationship. Primarily, lack of clear and positive leadership based on trust and understanding. The dog we are now looking at has some serious trust issues and although very pushy and demanding at home, when on her own she can be lacking in confidence and potentially aggressive. Before coming to us, the owners were told by their vet that they had tried to sedate the dog so they could groom it, but she was so aggressive, even under heavy sedation, that they could not continue without the risk of being bitten. Apparently it took three people to try and control her, all to no avail. Even on her first day, the trainers get started assessing the dog's confidence and behaviour away from home. They do a little socialisation work and generally get her familiar with her new home for the next 20 days. Now we come to the real test, clipping the dog's coat. So they were especially concerned about the feet area. The feet area being a sensitive issue for this dog, the trainer shows positive leadership and helps her through the ordeal. There is no pussyfooting around the dog's apprehension and she is dealing with the clipping of her feet and legs without the need to lash out aggressively. Not only is she not sedated, she isn't even wearing a muzzle. As you can see, the clipping has been a success and the dog is confident and happy. This behavioural rehabilitation is the result of many years of hands-on research and development into methods that really work. I picked up this last dog we are looking at on this video from the lost dog's home where it was waiting to be destroyed. It had been declared dangerous by the council for mauling sheep. The owners had been fighting for his life through the courts and had asked me to write a letter stating that the dog could be rehabilitated with proper training. I stated that within 20 days we could have the dog running free with sheep, totally off lead and safe. The judge gave the okay, but it was still up to the council rangers to give the go ahead for the training. It was an 11th hour decision, but we got our chance. This dog's life was literally on the line. If we failed, the dog died. As you can see from this footage, he couldn't care less about the ponies. It's the sheep he wants. It just goes to show you that any dog can display predatory behaviour, even our favourite family dog, the Labrador. Power of good boy. See how the dog aborted his attention towards the sheep? This is what we call canine behaviour interrupt. 
And we can show this principle in action and under distraction after teaching a dog just two basic obedience exercises. The canine leadership system is driven by three core principles, pattern, precedent and consistency. Combined, these three principles bind our methods together to achieve consistent and positive results. I know that many trainers and behaviourists still believe that this type of behaviour cannot be rehabilitated without breaking the dog's spirit or using electric shock collars, but I can confidently say that that is not the case. The Alpha Canine Group has developed methods that take canine behavioural and learning theory in exciting new directions. Directions that defy the common and often outdated theories that are perpetuated throughout our industry. This is especially the case when dealing with the more serious end of the canine behavioural spectrum. Look at the results. It doesn't get much better than this. The trainer isn't saying a single word and the dog is now relaxed and actively jumping away from the running sheep, the whole time wagging his tail. Look at the bond with the trainer. It would be the same with any of us who were working with him at the time. Now that's consistency. That's leadership. You can find out more about our obedience training, canine behavioural rehabilitation and professional trainer, handler and lecturing services at www.caninecommunicators.com.au.